Netflix is set to produce a groundbreaking docu-series, spearheaded by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, that will explore the explosive allegations of sex trafficking, racketeering, sexual assault, and violent abuse against Sean Diddy Combs. The docu-series, which is already in production, is directed by Alexandria Stapleton and promises to examine the intricate and disturbing layers of Combs's legal battles, while reflecting on the broader impact of these issues on victims and the hip-hop culture at large. The project marks a significant moment in both entertainment and legal history, as one of the most powerful figures in music faces accusations that could reshape not only his legacy, but also the culture he helped define. Combs, the influential mogul behind Bad Boy Records, has been a towering presence in the industry for decades, but the lawsuits and criminal charges now cast a shadow over his storied career. The docuseries will not only cover the allegations and court cases, but will also examine the far-reaching cultural implications and the human stories behind the headlines. In a joint statement to Variety, 50 Cent and Stapleton emphasized their commitment to telling a story that goes beyond the surface. This is a story with significant human impact. It is a complex narrative spanning decades, not just the headlines or clips seen so far. We remain steadfast in our commitment to give a voice to the voiceless and to present authentic and nuanced perspectives. While the allegations are disturbing, we urge all to remember that Sean Combs's story is not the full story of hip-hop and its culture. We aim to ensure that individual actions do not overshadow the culture's broader contributions. 50 Cent, who is producing the series through his G-Unit film and television banner, has long been vocal about the allegations against Combs. In December 2023, when a lawsuit filed by Combs's ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura opened the floodgates, 50 Cent took to social media to announce his involvement in the project. He even shared a controversial clip featuring bad boy rapper Mark Curry, alleging that Combs would spike champagne bottles at his infamous parties before women unknowingly drank from them. This was just the beginning of what has become a wave of legal troubles for Combs. In the time since Cassie's lawsuit, which was quickly settled, more women have come forward with shocking claims. Model Crystal McKinney accused Combs of drugging and sexually assaulting her in 2003. Former employee Rodney Lil Rod Jones alleged that Combs forced him to hire sex workers and made unwanted sexual advances toward him. A separate lawsuit involving Grace Omar Kay, a yacht stewardess, implicated Combs's son, Christian King Combs, in an alleged sexual assault incident that was paid to be covered up. Even former Danity Kane member Dawn Richard joined the list of accusers, filing a lawsuit for verbal abuse, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The docuseries aims to examine not just these individual claims, but the pattern of behavior that has followed Combs throughout his career. The production will reportedly cover the federal charges Combs now faces. Last week, Combs was arrested in New York on multiple counts, including racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges, but his request for bail was denied, leaving him in custody as the legal storm around him intensifies. Despite the mounting accusations, Combs has consistently denied wrongdoing, only admitting to one incident of physical aggression caught on a leaked video in which he was seen grabbing, shoving, and kicking Cassie. After the video surfaced, he released a statement saying, I take full responsibility for my actions in the video. However, outside of this isolated admission, Combs has fiercely defended his name, posting on social media, Enough is enough. He accused the plaintiffs of seeking quick payouts and denied any involvement in the allegations. That post remains pinned to his ex-formerly Twitter account, 
even as other content has been removed from his social media presence. His defiant stance has continued, with Combs even posting a clip of his 1998 song, Victory, where he runs from police following Homeland Security's raid on his Los Angeles and Miami properties earlier this year. What makes this docuseries particularly noteworthy is the involvement of 50 Cent, a longtime critic of Combs, who has pledged to donate proceeds from the project to support victims of sexual assault. The rapper-turned-TV producer has built a successful career in television with critically acclaimed projects like Power and BMF. Now, he is bringing the same sharp eye to this investigation, determined to pull back the curtain on what he calls the truth. This is the first official confirmation from Netflix about the docuseries, though 50 Cent had discussed the project with The Hollywood Reporter back in July. Netflix's involvement signals the seriousness and scale of the project, with Stapleton's House of Nonfiction and Texas Crew Productions also contributing to the production. The docuseries will be a multi-part investigation into not just Combs' alleged crimes, but also the music industry culture that allowed such behaviors to persist unchecked. As the project moves forward, it is poised to be one of the most talked about and controversial series in recent memory, shining a spotlight on the dark side of fame, power, and influence in hip-hop. It will explore how allegations like these, if proven true, not only devastate the lives of victims, but also challenge the entire foundation of an industry that has long glorified excess, luxury, and impunity. The Netflix docuseries will give a voice to those who have been silenced for years and provide a comprehensive look at the rise and potential fall of one of music's most iconic figures. It also promises to force a reckoning within hip-hop and the broader entertainment world as more light is shed on the abuses of power that have been allowed to flourish unchecked.